Hello, I'm Artie Ojeda. Welcome to SDSU Insider, a new show giving you an inside look at San Diego's oldest and largest university. We'll take you on campus to introduce you to people who make San Diego State the dynamic and engaged university that it is. With approximately 30,000 students, there are so many stories to tell. One group that has been growing over the past few years are student veterans. Later in the show, we'll introduce you to one student who went from the battlefield to the classroom, and now he's helping other returning veterans do the same. Plus, history is being made inside Vieja Serena. We will check in with the SDSU nationally ranked men's basketball team. And it's SDSU month. We'll show you how you can be part of the celebration. But first, 2011 is a historic year for SDSU. This summer, the university will see the end of an era when President Steven Weber retires after leaving the university for 15 years. We recently spent some time with President Weber to find out what it takes to be the university's commander and chief. Take a look. The sun is barely up over the SDSU campus, but President Steven Weber is already hard at work. In the biggest sense, it just keeps me healthy. And um, I have long days, and um, you, can't, you can't pace it. You have to do what you have to do when you have to do it. And so being healthy helps a lot. Not only does exercising get him ready for a long day, but the gym is a place he often finds out things he'd normally never hear about. There are a lot of people that, that um, are reluctant to come into the president's office because it's you know, that's all the usual bureaucratic stuff and you're opening up big doors and there are people out front and things like that. But they're happy to come up and catch me here. And usually it's just uh, talk about the basketball game last night or, or, um, or something else. But sometimes it's something that's gone wrong that, that they, um, they think I need to know about and usually I do need to know about. Then it's off to the office to meet with his staff and prepare for the day. My Mary. Mary, Mary Ruth Folder. Uh, Mary Ruth Folder, yeah. Okay. All right. Before long, he's out the door again. Well, let me say it's about quarter of nine right now. I began the day meeting with our vice president for business and finance, talking about the California budget. That's not a pretty conversation. Uh, then I was speaking with our athletic director with regard to TV contracts in the Mountain West Conference. And now, one of the things I've been looking forward to, I'm here to brief uh, brief San Diego lead about San Diego State University and our relationship with the community and I'd like to believe some of the contributions we make to the community. Welcome to San Diego State. It's good to have you here. Um, Between speaking gonna... engagements, luncheons and meetings, President Weber's job is non-stop. No, and as the sun sets on campus, his day is not done yet. He and more than 12,000 SDSU fans have packed the Ahas Arena for the men's basketball game. Actually, as president, I'm a fan. I'm just here and I'm having a good time. Uh, I'll say hello to some people and thank them for their support. But once the game starts, I'm going to be watching the game. And it was a great night to be an Aztec as the nationally ranked team got another win. For President Weber, who's always been a big supporter of athletics, having the team play at the top of its game is rewarding. We could have done all this work and made this investment, and it would have come together next year or the year after. I have always known it would come together, and it would be exciting for the university and great for our students. But it's really special it's come together this year. I mean, I'm just I'm having a great time. As President Weber's tenure comes to a close, he reflects on the past 15 years, calling it the highlight of his career. Well, I love this job. Part of it is that this university never ceases to surprise me. After 15 years, new things happen every day, and they're so impressive. I think this is a great university, and I don't think it was perceived to be as good as it is. And in recent years, thanks to a lot of people working very hard, we've begun to get the recognition that this university deserves, and that's very gratifying. And coming up, we will sit down with President Weber and his wife Susan to find out what the most memorable moments have been over those past 15 years and where they see SDSU heading into the future. Stay with us. We'll be right back. In making a gift to San Diego State University, Nikki and I look at two things. Uh, having an impact and how we're going to help the students. 
it's going to get more expensive to go to college, and we still want to see San Diegans having a chance to go to their hometown university, San Diego State University. I'm Ben Clay. And I'm Nikki Clay. And, and we're, we're Aztecs, Aztecs for, for Life. life. Welcome back. Joining us is San Diego State President Stephen Weber and his wife Susan Weber. After 15 years at the helm, President Weber is retiring this summer. Welcome to the both of you. And, and you know, you. President, you. President Weber, after looking at that piece, it, it strikes me just how accessible you've been. Uh, and I know that's been very important to you. It is important to me. If, uh, if you work from the premise that you knew what you were doing, maybe you wouldn't have to talk to people. But if you know that there's a lot you don't know, then every time I get a chance to talk with a student or a community member, it helps me understand their needs and then helps us become a better university. This may be a tough question to answer, but after 15 years, what has been your favorite part about being president? It is a tough question because Susan will tell you I'm insufferable and I love this job and I, <laughs> I love most, most of the parts of it. Actually, the best thing has been to see how once you, once you provide the opportunity the people of San Diego State respond in ways you never guessed and never imagined. So all sorts of things happen. We come back a couple months later, and it's something we never imagined. Time after time after time, it's better than we thought it would be, which is very nice. Mrs. Weber, you have been a, a, a very important part of the SDSU community as well, a link between the university and the community. For you, what has been the most enjoyable part of your experience? I think the diversity. Of course, being on a college campus or uh, being involved in a college campus, you are going to have diversity because there's a diversity of the programs, diversity of the students, diversity of the faculty. But I think in this particular area at San Diego State University, being in the community we are, the diversity is all around us. Uh, even the birds and the, and the plants. I know I've been so amazed when we first moved here. I said, how can they have a rose bush <laughs> next to a cactus? This is not <laughs> right <laughs> to have not grown up in, in the West at all. So. Everybody Everybody gets along here. Yeah, that, well, I didn't go that far. I can say that. But I certainly do, do yes. enjoy that part. I will miss that. Very good. You know, the university has really undergone so many changes in your time here, not only physically, but academically as well. And, and that really must make you feel good about your experience here. It does. Um, we, we just learned a couple of months ago that, that we lead the nation in the improvement in graduation rates. And that's just thousands of lives that have been transformed because of the good work of people at San Diego State. So that, that we're just looking at some numbers. We graduate about 10,000 people a year. Under the old graduation rates, over 1,000 of those students wouldn't be graduating. Mm. And now they are, and they're off in leadership positions in San Diego and contributing to this community and making it a better place. You may have just answered the question, but what do you see as one of the university's biggest accomplishments mm. since you've been here? Well, that's one of the very sure. biggest. Um, we've, we've done that in a way that I think has, has served our university and our students well. The other thing I would say is we've been very responsive to the community. We've developed programs like hospitality and tourism and construction engineering management and nurses now and regulatory affairs for the biotech community. And I think that's one of the reasons why this synergy works so well. I mean, the fact is we're a better university because we're in San Diego. We get great ideas from San Diego. I was just talking uh, a couple weeks ago with a group of software engineers that want us to work on some programs for software engineers. And then, because we try to be responsive to the needs of the community, the community's been wonderfully supportive of San Diego State. Sure. So, so the fundraising and the philanthropy has just gone through the roof, and that's... That's very satisfying. It's great to be an Aztec. Before I let the two of you yeah. go, I have to ask you, what are you planning on doing once you retire? Go ahead. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I plan to do a lot more reading, even though I read now, and a lot more, um, uh, some more travel, I hope, and just some more relaxing, I think. Uh, it'd be nice to set our own schedule. Yes, President Weber, are we going to see you at the basketball game still? You are. Our our expectation is that we'll still spend a couple months of every year in San Diego, and those months will be February and March. It happens to be very cold in Maine in February and March, so it wasn't a hard call. <laughs> right. 
But the fact that we'll be able to be there watching our basketball team will be fun too. All right. President Steven Weber, Susan Weber, thank you so much. And thank you for all you've uh, done for the university. And we certainly wish you the best of luck. Enjoy retirement. We will. Thank right. you very We're looking much. Forward to it. One of the initiatives President Weber has championed during his tenure is supporting our student veterans. With more than 1,000 veterans enrolled, SDSU has one of the largest student veteran populations in the nation and is ranked among the most military-friendly universities in the country. For many veterans, the need to serve does not end with their military careers, and that is certainly the case for SDSU junior Greg Anderson, who channels his compulsion to help others to ease the transition to civilian life for himself and his fellow veterans here at San Diego State. Here's his story. On most days, Greg Anderson can be found in the SDSU Student Veterans Center, either working or hanging out with his friends. He's happy, but that wasn't always the case. When I got out of the service, it's pretty lost for almost about a year, just not fitting in, not understanding, you know, what this new lifestyle was where I had to completely change everything. It's a common feeling for veterans making the difficult transition to life as a civilian. It's very important to support veterans because being a little bit older, coming back to school, provides some unique challenges. Um, the frustration, perhaps, of trying to relate to an 18-year-old um, in your classes. Also, the component of the military creating this um, need for adrenaline or, or a little bit more stimulation. Anderson became a firefighter to fill the void from his Marine and Coast Guard service, which had taken him around the world for drug seizures and search and rescue operations. I also did um, a year-long volunteer stint with the uh, Red Cross, which was really fun and exciting. You know, especially during the wildfires where we got to start up, you know, shelters in the middle of the night and two o'clock in the morning and people were pouring in and the whole valley is filled with smoke and you can't see the streets. And then he found his way to San Diego State. I channeled that energy into becoming a successful student and finding a career path. He found purpose here. I'd started helping veterans transition from the military into college and helping them get their benefits started. Veterans like SDSU junior Virginia Johnson said, help from other veterans is critical. If I didn't have them here, I'd be on student loans, I'd, I'd be having to work, and because they're here, I'm able to relax and focus completely on school and, and my studies and my activities and not have to worry about, am I gonna be able to make money this month? Because I know with their help, my funding will come through. Veterans understand that better than anyone else. In training, in combat, it's always you're looking out for your buddy. You're looking out for the person next to you. So if you take the life and death aspect and, and transfer it, is it a matter of graduation or not, being homeless or not, having medical care or not, sitting at home alone with your PTSD and isolating yourself, or f connecting with others who maybe have PTSD, or get your stories, or just invite you along and, and make you feel that you're not just this one person dealing with something. For many veterans, their military careers might be over, but their need to serve will never subside. Once you find that common ground with other college students, and then you find other veterans who have gone through the same struggle, I think that's when it becomes an amazing experience. <laughs> It's no wonder SDSU continues to work hard to be a university of choice for veterans. And here's a fact you might be interested in. SDSU was the first university in the country to open up an on-campus residence for student veterans. You can learn more about how SDSU supports student veterans by logging on to www.sdsu.edu and searching the keyword veterans. Coming up on SDSU Insider, Aztec men's basketball sure has made a name for itself this season. We will head across campus and sit down with one of the star players and head coach Steve Fisher as they anticipate their second straight NCAA tournament. San Diego State is alive with learning, new discoveries, but many SDSU students and their families are struggling financially. At the same time, the cost of education continues to rise. An increasing number of students need financial aid and scholarships to realize their dreams of a university education. Now more than ever, SDSU students need your support. You can help fuel their potential by making an online gift supporting student scholarships at sdsu.edu slash fuel potential. 
I've been in the San Diego community all my life, and I've seen San Diego uh, State start from a small college to a, what it is today, a, a very vibrant, large, diversified college. And the uh, Bioscience Center is, is going to be a catalyst for a tremendous amount of new research that's going to happen here at the university. I'm Alan Gold, and I'm an Aztec for life. The madness here on Montezuma Mesa started well before March when the men's basketball team found itself ranked in the Associated Press Top 25 preseason poll for the first time in university history. Since then, the team has certainly not disappointed, starting the season off on a 20-0 run and landing among the top 10 teams in the nation. Now, as the regular season comes to an end, the team is on its way to its second straight NCAA tournament. Check out the highlights of this record-breaking year. With us now is head men's basketball coach Steve Fisher and senior point guard DJ Gay. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, congratulations, first of all, on what has been a marvelous season. And coach, it has been a magical season. Talk a little bit about the swell of enthusiasm that you have seen on campus. It's been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, our students have been good the last five or six years, but they've, uh, they've taken it to heights unknown to San Diego State this season. Every game's a sellout. You walk out an hour and a half before the game and they're lined up to be first in line so they can rush to get their seats in the show. And they've created an atmosphere for the fans that it's an event that's fun to be a part of. And we owe them a lot. There's no question about that. It's a far cry from the times when you first arrived here when you had a hard time giving away tickets when you when you win everybody wants to be your favored uh, uncle when you lose nobody wants to talk to you and uh, we did not have a rich tradition in history so we had to kind of get out and promote what we thought we could be close your eyes and dream 12 years ago and now we're promoting uh, a really good team led by a terrific senior guard who does anything and everything to win for you Let's talk to your senior guard right now, DJ. From a player's perspective, how important is it to have that fan and student support? Um, it's very important. I mean, not only does it help the team uh, get a win, but it, it helps, you know, it helps the program. It helps, you know, recruiting, helps getting other people to come here. You know, when, when people uh, come to the game, uh, you know, for the first time, uh, we're pretty sure that they're going to come back after, you know, seeing, seeing what, the, what the arena is like. So um, it's, it's, it's a fun environment, you know, everybody's having a good time, and um, it's, it's been wild this season. And I know you've been out there before the game starts, and you're seeing people practically begging for tickets. Right. I mean, uh, you know, people holding up, you know, I need a ticket sign and, and, and stuff like that. It, it's stuff that, you know, I, I had no idea that, you know, it, it, it would get like this. But, I mean, I, I think it's a fun problem to have, and, um, you know, we're all enjoying it. Coach mentioned the show. How fun is that from a player's perspective to see that uh, incredible student section out there? And how intimidating must it be for opponents when you walk into that hornet's nest? Um, I, I, I kind of feel bad for our opponents. I mean, the, the show, they, you know, they, they, they're, they're something else. Um, you know, being here for four years and, and seeing them for four years and all the new stuff they, they seem to come up with year after year, um, I, I'm glad they're on our side. 
and the players get a chance and, and make it a point after the games to go out and talk to them, high five them. What kind of exchanges do you have uh, with them? I mean, we've, we've built some good relationships with you know some of the people that are involved with the show. Um, and like you said, after every game, we go out there and show our appreciation for what they've done you know, for us in this program. Uh, they made uh, Villas Arena you know, the place to be. You know, people come out not to only see us, but to see what kind of stuff, uh, new stuff they're going to come up with. So they've, they've been a, bit as, a big asset to this, to this program. What, what um, sticks out? I, you know, they have the big heads, the, the pictures. Uh, anything in particular that, that, that sticks out that just made you stop and, and laugh? Um, I liked um, Brian Carwell's Halloween picture, the one with the, his uh, red eyes and fangs. I thought that one was, was, was pretty funny, pretty random. And then, of course, the national attention that you're getting. We've learned this year that Tim Shelton can sing. <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he, you know, he's been doing it for a while, but he, he definitely has some talent you know, off the court. Um, I, I've lived with him uh, for two years, and um, he's, you know, he's, he has some talent. Coach, it's been such a great season. How are you going to maintain and sustain this wave of enthusiasm? Well, comment on DJ's comment for. Uh, I never look at the scoreboard on player introductions, and I rarely take time to look at the show. So I'm, getting, I'm learning some stuff about some of the things that they come up with. I do know one thing. If you, are, if you have a Facebook account and there's anything on there they can use, <laughs> they're definitely going to use it. Uh, we've won over 20 games for six straight years now. So we think we have a, a program, underlying program, that will continue on. Now, will we start 20 and 0 and be 24 and 1? Probably not. But we think we've got the ability to sustain what we've done for a long time, and that feels good also. All you have to do is walk out of this building and look at the, the facilities. We've got a world class university in America's finest city. Uh, so we say, why wouldn't you want to consider us? And now we're up with all the the Blue Bloods, the guys that have always been there in the national polls, and uh, we like it, and we want to stay there. And it's interesting because right now the men's basketball team is getting all of the attention, but we have seen recent successes with the football team, the women's basketball team, other sports. So the university as a whole has really progressed. There's no question. I, I think so often in the past our athletic successes have been measured exclusively on football and and well documented until this past year they'd struggled a little bit had a great season this past year but if you look at what everybody's done all you have to let's start with uh, women's softball and what Kathy has done there and this year swimming and diving undefeated uh, and on and on Beth Burns took the women's team to the sweet 16 last year this is an athletic program not just a couple of teams that are all very very good and they're all excited for one another, and that's the beauty of, uh, of being here, that there's a genuine appreciation and a feeling of wanting the other programs to win, as opposed to, I want all of the spotlight, and I, I don't care if the others do quite as well as we do. We don't have that here. All right. Head coach Steve Fisher, senior point guard DJ Gay, thank you so much for joining us, and good luck in the tournament. Thank you, thank you sir. When we talk about being an Aztec, we're not talking about how you were back in the day or who you thought you might become or a face you put on for game day. Once you're an Aztec, you're an Aztec every day of your life. San Diego State University, Aztec for life. Welcome back to SDSU Insider. As we mentioned, March is SDSU month, and the university is inviting all of San Diego to celebrate by visiting campus and attending one of our many SDSU month events. From theater and music performances to lectures, there really is something for everyone. The highlight of the month is Explore SDSU, the annual university-wide open house. At Explore SDSU, the university opens its doors and invites you to see campus like you've never seen it before. 
Get behind the scene tours of science and engineering labs. See performances by our talented students and learn all you need to know about SDSU's many academic programs. Plus, there's entertainment and fun for the littlest Aztecs in the Family Village. And for SDSU alumni, a chance to reconnect with your alma mater. Check out SDSUMonth.com for a list of events throughout the month and great discounts from our benefit partners. That is all the time we have for this episode of SDSU Insider. Join us next time when we introduce you to the new president of SDSU and the kickoff event for the university's first ever comprehensive fundraising campaign. And there's always something new going on at SDSU. So keep up with all the Aztec news by visiting SDSU News Center at newscenter.sdsu.edu. Thanks so much for joining us and go Aztecs! When we talk about being an Aztec, we're not talking about how you were back in the day or who you thought you might become or a face you put on for game day. Once you're an Aztec, you're an Aztec every day of your life. San Diego State University, Aztec for life.